I've had an okay week, but it's been dominated by one thing and one thing only, and that is the singular thought that has stayed with me at almost every waking moment of this week, and that is the baseball crank. Baseball just, crank. It, it's just cranking at the baseball. It, it's not so much the man or or the Twitter account. It's just the image of the baseball crank. It's just the baseball crank face. I see it everywhere. It's like the scene in Being John Malkovich, where John Malkovich enters his own brain, and all he sees is people with his face saying Malkovich, Malkovich. It's been like that, except baseball crank, baseball crank, all week long. The baseball crank avatar is, it's just the anguished rictus of the Republican (laughs) anti-Trump people. Like, whenever I think, or I see anybody bitching and moaning on the right about Trump's ascendancy, I just imagine their face taking on that horrified, just Boschian nightmare <laughs> agony of the baseball crank. Like, Pateritz, he's a baseball crank. Uh, ben Shapiro, baseball crank. Pateritz does look like... Yeah, well, he looks like that already, yeah. yeah. Right, yeah, um... I love the baseball crank. I feel like Herzog, like he, Herzog could explore it, just do an entire documentary about the drawing of the baseball crank avatar, the man who drew it, what it means. He would probably say that the seams belie the destruction of the Republican Party and their cycle of sex, sexual psychosis breaking through and the ball of the Big Tent collapsing as their wives look on and wish their husbands could just admit that they're gay. But the inner turmoil of man seeks out, screaming through his mouth, making his glasses when you stare, <laughs> When you stare into the eyes of the baseball crank, you see a devastating nothingness. <laughs> These young men call them cucks, but all they do is go to the baseball game and yell at the players. Um, we, you know, but we were obsessed with the baseball crank, as are all the Chapo heads. We did a deep dive into the baseball crank this week, and we turned up some very uh, interesting material on on the man uh, who calls himself the baseball crank. And the thing that actually uh, amazed me the most was it turns out that the real baseball crank is a New York guy like me. He's a lifelong New Yorker. He's walking here. Forget about (laughs) it. You call this a pizza? Oh, you just proved my point. Another Trump guy conceding his own point. Oh, we got some Trumpkins here. The best pizza in New York is pizza that confirms and affirms conservative principles over here. <laughs> hey, kids, get to school. Don't have any premarital sex, all right? It just it, it, it shows my <laughs> stay president. trans people. Stay out of my bathroom already. <laughs> 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 Marriage has a I, definition. Oh. <laughs> Maron, look at these Trumpkins over here. What a bunch of jagoffs. Hey, why don't you go home and go get your frickin' Trump hat? <laughs> make 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 my brajols great again, why don't you? We gotta get rid of this culture uh, entitlement over here! Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, but, you know, it, it goes to my prejudice that I assume that he was always some kind of oaky gargoyle. But in, in, in retrospect, it actually does make perfect sense that he's uh, from New York City, because one of the details that we discovered about him is that his dad is a is like a, something like a 30 year veteran of the NYPD. And he he, he worked a beat in uh, in Harlem in the 60s and 70s. And per Baseball Crank's own uh, oh, tweets, he said he participated in the, the in the Harlem riots of uh, 1968. Um, so, like, look, uh, you know, again, we're trying not to be libelous here, and it would be libelous to, like, imply that his father was, like, a, a corrupt cop. But I'm just saying, like, I... I I imagined him immediately being one of the guys that set up Frank Serpico. We also think that it would be interesting to think that possibly his dad was the inspiration for the bad lieutenant. Yeah, if James Elroy wrote about New York City, it's possible that one of his protagonists could have been inspired by the baseball cranks coked up violently racist father. I try, I try, but I'm too fucking weak. My son's the baseball crank. 
I'm doing fucking weak. By the way, the, the bad lieutenant reading of the baseball crank has an added resonance when you uh, learn that the baseball crank is a diehard Mets fan. Because as you will remember from Bad Lieutenant the film, uh, bad, Baseball Crank's father, a.k.a. Uh, Harvey Keitel, uh, loses all his money and his life betting against the Mets during a four-game comeback. So I, I, I think we just discovered like the sort of the genesis of the Baseball Crank in Abel Ferrara's Bad Lieutenant. But I'll tell you actually one thing that isn't libelous at all is just um, reading what the baseball crank has put into the public record about his father. Um, and they include tweets to the effect of, um, my, quote, NYPD dad taught me how to use a billy club for maximum effect and minimum publicity. And this, of course, was in the context of someone fantasizing about Trump supporters rioting during the Cleveland convention. And baseball <laughs> crank's uh, father was in the bathroom with Abner Luima. I think we can... <laughs> Speculate, maybe? No, no, we don't no. know for sure. We can't. We're not going to speculate about that. I'm just saying, like it's it's part of our imaginary fantasy scenario that we've invented yes. to fill in the in our mind palaces. The baseball crank in our mind palaces. <laughs> the baseball crank's dad was in an after Louima bathroom. <laughs> in our Giuliani mind palace, style. there's just nothing but the baseball crank. Yeah. yeah. In my head cannon, baseball <laughs> crank's father are they're the cops from Goodfellas who, when the truck driver says, "Hey, a black guy just stole my truck." He goes and assaults that guy outside of Idlewild. Jimmy, I could complain, but who'd listen? My son will. My son's got a blog. We call him Baseball Crank because he cranks off the baseball two times. So here's the thing. Um, so like this week, Baseball Crank and and the Baseball Crank face has gone like insanely viral, and largely because of us. And people That's us. are now. That's 100% it, us. it is us. It's 100 percent Chapo. Slow mo baseball happen. head. We made slow mo baseball head happen, and what people are doing now are inserting the baseball crank face into some of the most famous uh, photos and like paintings throughout history. Um, like for instance, uh, they've put baseball crank's face over Lee Harvey Oswald being shot by Jack Ruby as he's let out of the Dallas uh, police station. Um, God, there was a Kent State version. So basically, uh, some of history's greatest atrocities now feature the anguished baseball crank face. Um, it, it, and I've got to say art. that the one that impressed me most is is that uh, a sadly locked account, it was retweeted by others, put the baseball crank in a gif of the Zabruder film <laughs> of Kennedy getting shot and his head is flying backwards and brain matter is flying out of the front of the baseball. It's a goddamn thing of beauty. <laughs> no, but since people did a, a baseball crank in Goya's uh, Saturn Devouring His Son, in Francis Bacon's uh, Portrait of Pope Innocent. I mean, it, like, it's, it's Edmar fucking Mook's brilliant. The stream, obviously. Yeah, it's fucking brilliant. Several but people here's did the that thing. One. Here's the thing. Um, the real baseball crank, uh, as I found out on Friday, uh, blocks anyone who just e tweets the words baseball crank at him, tweets the baseball crank image at him, or even references the baseball crank cannon in any way. Like, it's like it's like depicting Muhammad. I got blocked by him for just uh, quote tweeting some of his uh, quote retweeting some of his tweets and uh, appending the video for Soldier Boy's song Crank That. <laughs> oh, can, can, can I add? That's all can, I did. Can we go back to baseball cranks, uh, baseball baseball crank NYPD dad for a little bit? Uh, there's one last tidbit, probably my favorite tidbit. Baseball cranks dad says that his dad was one of the only officers assigned to guard Malcolm X, and again. We are avoiding libel, but we think it would be interesting to speculate that his dad was a white Nation of Islam sleeper cell that assassinated <laughs> Malcolm X uh, on the behest of Farrakhan and made his son insane by telling him that they came from germs. <laughs> that he was Yakubian spawn. Uh, son, we're, we're dirty. We're just someone <laughs> made us dirty. Yakub. Maker and creator of the devil. We're 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 is we're Muslims now, son. Ah, uh, does not compute, father. <laughs> that caused that caused the break that he's still uh, dealing with now. In like that, that's what caused the baseball crank face. That was the genesis <laughs> of that expression. <laughs> yeah, when when his dad told when him. his dad told him that that they are um Yakub, they are the spawn of Yakub, and they are now um a Muslim family. Your yeah, baseball crank, though, I think he follows some NOI philosophy because if you look at his instagram he's always eating pies 
<laughs> yes, real baseball crankheads will read the baseball crank Instagram. He's on Instagram on baseball crank. You think Check you think baseball out. crank like slides in the DMs on Instagram? <laughs> but, but here's the thing though, and here's my master plan. Because, um, like I said, the memes people are making are, are fucking hilarious, and I love them. And we're going to try to post them all on the Chapo Trap House Twitter account. But here's the thing. Now that I know that Baseball Crank uh, like lives and works in New York City, like I'm saying, look, let's take this IRL, as they say. Like I want to get the Baseball Crank face to be like the new Andre the Giant. Or like Banksy phenomenon, oh, where yeah. people just make, yeah, like we're just people just make like stencils, yeah, stickers, we need a sticker. and like my dream is that something I'll be to put on New every York surface City. in New York. Yeah, City. I'm going to be walking around New York City, and I'm just going to see the baseball crank's face on like windows, on vans, on mailboxes, and stuff, and know in my head that somewhere the real baseball crank is seeing that, and it's like the abyss. He would go back fucking at crazy because he can't like he can't block you, you know. Like if he's waiting in line for a subway and he sees his stupid avatar pasted to the side of a pillar, he can't block that. You know, it's it's staring at him. It's it's mid orgasmic it's, it's, anguished face is staring at him. I I, I, I want to disagree with Matt slightly. I I don't think that I don't think the the picture is stupid. I think it's genius. Yeah, I think it's one of the most beautiful <laughs> things I've ever seen because no like, no I picture has ever <laughs> captured a man's essence. In fact, essence. this is what we are asking of you, the Chapo Nation, is to like you know start this guerrilla street art campaign to get the baseball crank face everywhere. Like not just in like history's greatest works of art and like most famous um, tragedies, but. Um, just like, just get it out there in the real world, and like, it's like, it's like karma. What you put out into the world, you will receive back in tenfold. Uh, yeah, I think it should be on the fucking moon. <laughs> like I said, we could make the moon into the we could make the moon into the base the baseball crank face, and we could see it every time we looked up into the sky. <laughs> like I said, let's let's make the baseball crank our reality. Let's just like get it everywhere and just have it like permeate every aspect of our lives and culture and and that is my dream 